Hi everyone, this toy hunt, I'm at Walmart. We might go to Five Below as well. And on a little end cap, side cap hanger thingy, they have the new series two of the gross minis, which um, yeah, they're, they're, they're really gross. <laughs> I never bought series one. I don't know. I, I like my minis to be cute, but um, I think they make for incredible jokes and would make great gag gifts. But uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of irreverent ones. The elf on the shelf joke, that is a good one. Oh my goodness. That's very tempting. They're $6.96 per, per capsule though. The Chucky sneeze. Okay. And then here's a look at the other miniverse section. And I realize now they have a Make It Potions class. How cool is this backdrop? Like if you have some of the Harry Potter figures. Um, oh, it's a nice thick, uh, thick box. But you know what I'm thinking? Um, Twisted Wonderland and the Potions and Alchemy class. You could probably maybe make it with the Nendroid size. <gasps> I got to test that out because, you know, Night Raven College looks a lot like Hogwarts. So, you know, it, it might work. Oh, that's really cool. What a neat prop. Um, I like that a lot. It's it's $50. Oh, they also have some more of those Nightmare Before Christmas plushies, which are adorable. Such a cute series, as well as the Disney Poppets. Then up top here, they have the Disney Crystal Surprise capsules. Lots of Miniverse stuff. So I've seen this spa one. And I remember it used to be in like a light blue capsule, but now it's this magenta pink or wrapping, I should say. So do you guys know if it's the same series or is it like a different wave? But I remember the one I got had a light blue wrapper or maybe they just like redid it when they did the new stuff. Um, oh, they also have the fun birthday party packs. That is such a cute series. So they're definitely well stocked with that. And that leads into like the mini brand section, which they have a ton of stuff. Oh, they also have some of the the books. I wonder if they'll do a series two with that one. Those were fun. Those were like hard to find, at least for me. <laughs> oh, and this is where they had the Disney Adorbs dolls, but they are sold out, which rightfully so. Those are gorgeous dolls. I have a feeling they'll be popular for the holidays too. They do have a nice selection of new Disney Adorables. Can't forget the little Munchlings minis. The Cupo style dolls. I haven't opened those, but they they look colorful. They also have a lot of the Alpha Male series, including the new little squishy ones of the Safari animal figures. Lots and lots of stuff for Alpha Male. They have Hatchimals Alive, which again is doing the electronic pets. Oh, Bears vs. Donuts. It looks like they have a new series. What? I didn't know this was coming out. Look at the maple bacon donut. Oh, I love Bears vs. Donuts. So I'm very curious if it's like a half series or if it's like series two, three. Because they had like that blue bag one too. Oh, wow. They have a ton. They must have just put a lot of these out. There's Cows vs. Aliens. Cats vs. Pickles. This one's the newest. I still have an open mine. Um, very cute. Those are such fun, like, stocking stuffers as, as we approach the, the holiday season. They also have Cookies Makery. I know they announced they're doing, like, a Pop-Tart series, um, which is really cute. I think it's the little toasty treat ones, the Cookies Makery. Yeah, those ones. <laughs> very cute. And some more... Um, Zero Smashers, lots of those. And then on a middle section, you have this very expensive toilet. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but that guy coming out of the toilet like creeps me out. Like that's the stuff of nightmares. And what's up with the toilet and gross things again? <laughs> right? Like we've had these phases before. Oh, that flushes. Huh. So is this like a video game? Someone needs to fill me in. And why is the guy coming out of the toilet? Is that like a YouTuber person? If so, no. <laughs> no. And then they have these little mystery collection figures. See, the figures look cool. They look like robotic um, type of things, which I like. But I don't like the guy in the toilet. Huh. So anyway, they, they have quite a bit. <laughs> Pretty intriguing. 
Here's a quick look down at the doll section. Um, a lot of this we've seen um, last, last time I was at this Walmart. <laughs> We do have a lot of the Disney color reveals, and I'm realizing now they sell visible dolls, which are like pretty much the same ones you can find in the mystery capsules. So they have a good selection there. They don't have the villains visible though. That would that would be cool. <laughs> they have some merch for Moana too. This figure set looks really cool. Look at how big Maui is. That's awesome. They also have some of those blind bags or blind little capsules. And hey, hey, too cute. And then the Monster High section is nicely stocked. I don't see those new um, garden locker ones, but they do have some of the first series of potions. And then Rainbow High has some outfits, but they also have like the full winter selection of dolls. And I absolutely love those little snowmen they come with. I think those are so pretty, but the dolls are pretty too. And the box art with like the glitter and stuff looks so awesome. So there's the full set there. This Walmart has a great plushie section. They have a lot of new Care Bears. This one's really cute. And then they also have some of the small ones. We just um, had that grumpy video uh, go up on my channel not too long ago. They also make the little stitch ones. How cute is he in his Hawaiian shirt? And then the Hello Kitty and Friends collab. So Bads Maru is grumpy. Oh, Cinema Roll is love a lot. And then Hello Kitty's Cheer Bear. So they have those three. Oh, which is adorable. I wonder if they make more or if they will make more. We, we shall see. Glad to see Bazmaru getting some love because he doesn't appear in the little minifigure um, set that they have out. And Hello Kitty and Cheer Bear are just adorable. They also have the larger set up here. And that is a bigger plushie. Um, but still, you can choose to just get the, the little collab plush. And they're really nice quality and nice embroidery. They did a great job. They also have some regular plushies. Ooh, Karomi just... Took a jump. Oh, Pom Pom Baron looks cute. My Melody, Hello Kitty, and then the larger pink series. Walmart also has one of these little boxed ones. They're like the, the Stitch and Care Bears. How cute. They have Pom Pom Baron, who honestly looks, <laughs> looks really adorable. Oh, here's the lineup. Okay. They're simple, but cute to be that size. And they also have the little keychain ones as the little ice cream pops and stuff. Oh, my Melody looks cute with the strawberry. I like it when her ears are down like that. Oh, and then we have this. I've seen these online. Um, they're stylized art figures from the Dreamland series. Oh, that backing is a little torn up. Let's, let me try here. So there's four different characters. And it looks like they just have Cinna, but um, they're kind of neat. They have like glittery eyes and a pearl finish. That's kind of just something something different. And then they also have more um, of the Dreamland visibles. Oh, they have Tuxedo Sam. Cute. They actually have a really nice variety of these too. Doggy pack. <laughs> I love those. I haven't seen the blind bags yet, but um, uh, the two packs are really cool. I do like the visibles, especially when you're dealing with so many cute characters that you want to collect. <laughs> the visibles are a great way to go. And then more plushies down here. So Walmart has a line of munchlings, um, the jumbo munchlings. Oh, Stitch. I think he's that blueberry muffin. That's cute. So some of these are like from that first series of Disney munchlings. Oh, they have the Winnie the Pooh one. And these are scented. Oh, they, yeah, they're individually scented. Uh, Stitch does smell like blueberries. Oh, how cute is that? That's a that's a cool option. Look at Scar looming down here. <laughs> oh, they did a good job with that. They have some Stitch ones. And then we have, oh, some Disney Zoom Zoom plush. These are really, really, like, floofy. <laughs> they have Moana. They're not, like firmly stuffed like the beans like the smaller ones they're very they're very squishy you have ariel and pua oh and back here there is an adorable stitch like i love stitch as a zoom zoom <gasps> he's extra soft and squishy okay that's cute 
You gotta love that design. They also have a lot of the squish alongs. Um, some of those newer packs. I'm not sure how many more there are to go. And then of course the clip alongs too. Down here they also have a couple new squish mallows. Oh, that donut looks adorable. Little mushroom guy. <laughs> But definitely a very, very happening plushy section. Oh, if you're a Stranger Things fan, oh my goodness, they have the little um, Ahoy <laughs> Squishmallows. That's very cute. And then here's a look at the little live pet section, which has grown quite a bit. And there's a lot of cuties. I've opened the um, My Really Real Puppy and got the beagle one, but look at this little white fuzzy cutie. Oh my goodness, I really like the design. And these really impressed me with how their eyes open and close. That is very, very cute. And you can feed them too. Oh, and they go, they go to sleep. Um, that's the little bagel. Bagel! <laughs> beagle my bad that's the beagle one i got and then they have this little cute monster too i like that guy the furlings <laughs> so there's a lot of really fun electronic pets next stop is five below so five below already has like a christmas section up front and they have a ton of blind bags and blind boxes and a lot of cool christmas items too so, um, wow, that's, that's pretty exciting. I was not expecting this, including the new Calico Critter Baby series. They have Strawberry Shortcake. They have the Scooshums. It looks like this is the series from last year, but there's a Bigfoot, which we were very lucky last year. Oh, and they make these little flocked Care Bear minifigure packs. We have Tender Heart and Cheer Bear, Grumpy and Good Luck Bear. How cute is that? Funshine and Share Bear. There's also some Lilo and Stitch Scooshums. I think I opened one of those. Or was Stitch in a different series? I'm not sure. <laughs> I am forgetting, but they are very, very cute. They also have like a little Lego set of Strawberry Shortcake. There's some Visible Nightmare Before Christmas mini cars, um, which are very cute. There's a Munchlings thrown in there. And then they have this, which I'm not sure if this is based off of a video game, but they look kind of spooky. <laughs> Those are some blind bags. They have Littlest Pet Shop. They have a bunch of visible Beetlejuice figures. That's really cool. Oh, look at the rubber duckies. You could get a Star Trek Spock duck. Got Marty McFly. <laughs> All cool franchises. Ooh, little gizmo down there. So many like cool figures. They even have the Wednesday ones. There's some new Hello Kitty Surprise character blind bags. Oh, it looks like these may have been some characters. I remember the, the mermaid one that they had in blind boxes, but they look really cute. They have the Coca-Cola bear, polar bear. That's a classic holiday one. Ooh, and here we have some Daddy Bear figures. These, these feel heavy too. They have a nice weight to them. Okay. I'm going to have to take a look at these. They come on a base. I'm not sure if you can remove them. But they look really nice. And they're the first series of Daddy Bears. Um, which are such cute, iconic characters at this point. And then we have some, some little Tokidoki plushies. In a front bin, they also have some Sanrio plushies wearing Christmas sweaters. How cute is that? Look at, look at Cinema Roll. <laughs> <laughs> looks like they just have those three, but they're adorable. They also have some of the new Stitch Squishmallows, um, which how cute are these flowers? They did a great job with the flowers. They have an ice cream one, and they have him holding the frog. Okay, I love, I love that scene in the movie. And you just gotta love Stitch. He is way too cute, and that frog is adorable. <laughs> Further back in the store, they have like the Sanrio aisle with a variety of goods. Those are cute little rubber duckies. They have some visible figures, lots of stationary stuff. Oh, even those little keychains we saw at Walmart. Um, that's pretty cool. And then that segues into like the Lilo and Stitch section. Oh, that's fun little action figure packs too. And then down here they have a bunch of different blind bags and blind boxes. Back at the front section, I forgot to show these 
um, new Funkos. They have the little bitty pops of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which that's really cute. And then they also have this cool series of the Star Wars Pocket Pops. Then in the toy aisle in back, this is where they have most of their blind bags and boxes that they stock kind of year round and it's not the overflow section, but they have a very nice variety, including some of the Nightmare Before Christmas Scooshums, the Mariah Elizabeth figures. I picked some of these up, um, not on a toy hunt, but they're, they're really nice figures. And a different series of Scooshums, lots of Scooshums. And then they have the Visible Rainbow Bright plush keychains. Look at how cute. So they have Twink, the pup. They also have some strawberry shortcake um, and then Starlight. They seem to be in the same shape and design as the little chibi figures. And then Rainbow Bright. Oh, that's cute. That is very cute. Oh, and they have some stickers, including Lisa Frank. <gasps> Are these stickers making a comeback? So they have a little Lisa Frank book. Okay. That, that's pretty nostalgic right there and so colorful. And then a quick look at the visible section. They actually have these LPS, which I think you can get these as blind box figures, but they have four different visible ones. They come with like a disco ball. So that's kind of random cute. They also have this, a very adorable cow keychain with a little ice cream and cookie up top. But lots, lots of cool stuff to be found at Five Below. There's also more Biddy Pops on like the flip side of the blind bag aisle. They have some Ushis too, as well as some little Funko mini figures. They have these Five Below exclusive Care Bears. Oh, that's cute. It looks like they're holding or are in food items. They have some glitter variants too. But that's really cute. Okay, I'm back home up from my toy hunt. Time for the haul. And I ended up going to Five Below as well just because I thought I didn't have enough footage from Walmart. And I'm thinking, oh, Five Below might have some stuff. I didn't think they would have as much as they did after Halloween. My goodness, they just like restocked everything. So this might be a little bit of a longer video. But I was very, very happy to find the new Bears vs. Donut series at Walmart. You know I love Bears vs. Donuts. Pretty sure that's my favorite line of the versus world and look at how cute we have this like little sun tan sun lotion bear and then a maple bacon donut <laughs> it looks adorable i don't know how many there are in this new series usually there's at least 12 in the in the second ones maybe 24 but i did end up picking up six different blind bags and i'm very excited to open these and then Walmart is where I found these very cute mini plush Nightmare Before Christmas coffins. I opened my first one on one of my Halloween videos and I was like, they are so adorable. I would love to find a Jack Skellington to go with my cute little Sally. So I got two of those as well. And then I went to Five Below and I was so shocked at how much they had in stock. They have all their Christmas stuff out too. Um, what a great selection and variety. So it's always a good time when you find the Squishmallow Mystery Squad plushies, sort of the mid-sized ones um, for $5. So I picked up two of these. It's a very cute little fun food series. Five Below also had some of the new Baby Outdoor series from Calico Critters. I love it when they get these blind bags in because $5 is such a great price. And how cute are these? I love that little guy with the marshmallow. They look like they're having a grand time. That guy's backpack is too big. <laughs> so I picked up two of those. Those are very, very cute. There's a lot of Scooshums by Squishmallows out, but I picked up the Nightmare Before Christmas little blind bags. How adorable do they all look? That zero is precious. Jack, Sally, Oogie Boogie, a Vampire or Scary Teddy, and the Mayor. What a fun lineup. I love it. In the front section by the new Christmas displays, they actually had some holiday themed blind bags, including the new Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Bitty Pops, which are absolutely adorable. I love this series. I haven't picked up any of the Bitty Pop sets, but these are the ones that you can find in the set, um, in like the four packs. Ooh, I realize now this one rattles, which it shouldn't. <laughs> so that means the, the figure came off its base. Oh no, I might have to open that one sooner rather than later. But either way, they are, I believe these are $3.25. Um, and they look absolutely adorable. I love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. 
Then I thought these were pretty funny. They're little Star Wars pocket pops, but they're shaped as a lump of coal because you can get all the baddies. Although, I don't know. I don't count Boba Fett as a baddie. Um, so you have a Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, Vader, and Darth Maul. And I believe those are the only four you can find. So um, we shall see. But I love how they're dressed up. That is too cute. Five Below always has a great selection of Funko items, and they have these exclusive Funko minis from the Care Bears line, and look at how adorable. I picked up Funshine Bear holding one of those, like, Taiyaki ice creams, which looks adorable. It even has, like, bear ears and a little smiley face. Like, how cute is that? It does look like a Taiyaki, right? The little, the little fish cone. But here's the lineup, and they did have some of like the the variant versions or the glitter versions, but they looked kind of weird. Like you couldn't really see very well what they were holding, and I thought this one was too cute. I would love to find Grumpy, who is shoved into the ice cream cone. Um, that is adorable. They did not have him, but I'll be on the hunt for those. I just think they're they're very unique. But look at how cute that art style is. And I don't know about some of you, but I have my Halloween decorations still up. Um, we, we went big this year, and I found these awesome Diddy Bear vinyl figures, and they look so nice. And I thought, how cute are they? And they come on a base, so I have a little Halloween tree, and I thought they could, like, guard it. I could put a bunch of them around. And I realize now... There's like different rarities with them, but they're all visible. So I wonder if these came as, as blind bags at some point, but they're visible. So I picked up squash. Oh gosh. <laughs> we went big all the way around for Halloween this year. Then we have the adorable vamp bear. There's bones, zombear, specter. And I didn't realize that, but we have bundle who is a one in 24. How cute is he all wrapped up? <laughs> Although he has like the spooky story. Another one of my faves is Beelzebub, also a 1 in 24. Interesting. And then I was really surprised that they had Howler, the 1 in 48, which completes my set. I really like Howler a lot. So, yeah, we, we have all eight of the Series 1 Daddy Bears, which are always special to me because that's when I first opened them. And I never, like, found a full set of plushies or anything. So it's actually really cool to have these minifigures that came on a base and were only $5. They actually have a nice weight to them. And I don't usually do this during the hauls, but you know what? I want to open one just in case you're interested, too. And I'm very curious, like, just how ooh, heavy of a figure they are. Okay, so they're not hollow. They are solid. Ooh. And it doesn't look like, yeah, they're attached to the base. You won't be able to remove them. But that's okay. That's perfect so they can stand. And they are going to guard my Halloween tree. <laughs> we're, we're not done with Halloween yet, my friends. And that'll do it for this toy hunt and some very unexpected finds too many unexpected finds, but I do hope you enjoyed it or found it useful for your own shopping. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.